So this video being our very last video of our Cedia 2022 coverage is kind of unique in the fact that it is born from the very first experience that I had when I got to Dallas, Texas. It was a day before the show doors opened and I was invited out to Steve Elliston Design. That's a high-end home theater uh, custom uh, integrator in the Dallas area and he has a showroom that is ridiculously awesome. If you have a chance to get out there, if you're in the Dallas, Texas area, I highly recommend going and checking it out. Basically, this showroom is built to uh, mimic what you would see in a high-end home. So you have a really nice living room, a nice kitchen area, and then of course, the main course is uh, the home theater room. And what's pretty cool about this home theater room is back in 2016, in preparation for Cedia 2016, Keith Yates' design was brought in to basically fix up and make his home theater space even more spectacular than it was. And a lot of that involved bringing in Meyer sound speakers, but also lots of acoustic work was done within that room. They pushed the walls out about 18 inches or 20 inches to accommodate these speakers. They actually pushed the back wall of the room out also about six feet. They just made the space bigger to accommodate these um, true cabinet speakers. And Keith Yates worked his magic to make the space sound really, really good. So we got to check that out. Beforehand, I was given a little bit of a behind the scenes tour at their shop. You can see some pictures here. Here's that brand new JBL synthesis sub, that monster sub that we featured in our video with JBL. There you can see them programming some racks up and uh, you see that giant power supply on the bottom of that rack. Check out the plug that's on the back right there. I mean, that, that just speaks volumes about how cool that equipment is and what kind of power that system requires. I was also treated to a presentation by Mr. Keith Yates himself, which was totally fascinating. He talked in depth about his design principles and the way he goes about attacking a project. And afterwards, I got to chat with him for a while. And my big takeaway from him was just this raw passion for delivering fun and love into a house. It's not really all about the fancy equipment. Uh, to him. It's all about the experience and the good times that he's delivering to a family. So there were some pretty cool stories coming from that. Now, after all of that was over, uh, my good friend, uh, Brett Bjorkquist of Market Maker, he took us into the Keith Yates designed home theater room and he gave us a presentation. And before I hand this off to Brett and let you guys experience this incredible room, I just want to thank everybody for all the views for all the likes, for all the subs this week. Thank you so much. And more importantly, from all of us at avnirvana.com, if you want to support us beyond just subscribing to our YouTube channel, please come on over to our website. We have a home theater forum there. It's 100% free to join. We'd love to have you join our community and talk shop about home theater. Okay, folks, with that, here's Mr. Brett Bjorkquist from Market Maker, and enjoy. a scratch build for it so the room existed um but and what they had to do so normally if you look at it if you look at a room right you know and we, we want to put in acoustics and we want to put in everything else usually we build inwards right we've, you know we've got the walls we've got the studs and we're kind of building inwards for it this room was done specifically in the opposite because we only had less than six weeks before cdn 2016 so they actually built it out so these were the actual walls that were there they ripped them open they actually pushed out and built the you know fake walls going to the back so that they could get the speakers in and insulation and everything else that they needed to. And so it's a little different. And then of course, clients love the fact that you can kind of see through the, you know, the way that it's lit up in there. And then the, the back, so the projector used to just sit in the room, like we see a lot of times. Um, but obviously as you look at heat, as you look at air, as you look at everything else to it, we wanted to be able to do more in the back and as we added speakers. So it's actually, the wall was pushed back six feet and so where the end of the wall was there is obviously now just material, and then it was pushed out. Okay, sorry, that's, you're right. That, it was here, but it wasn't here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so again, 
uh, you know, very quick in it, but this is, this is effectively where we would look at, this was what actually started KYD on looking at what we now call our alpha product. So if you look at what we used to do in the past, it was essentials, red, red X and black. Uh, these get into very large systems. Most, you know, if everybody's seen, it's usually the Han theater, bless you. Uh, you know, home theater of the decade from, from Han, but that's not even the best of the theaters in reality. So, <laughs> so this guy, you know, they, they do some crazy stuff with it. Um, but you know, when they looked at this, it was, well, we can't do everything from scratch. What could we do to make this room look and sound its best? in a time frame, in a this and that, using obviously 30 years of expertise. So uh, we'll go ahead and run through a uh, couple quick demos here. Really quick, I'm guessing like in a, a more full build out, like it would be more noise isolation. And yes. Yeah. Yes. I mean, we were, yeah. So so in a room like this, and this is where you get into different, but like doors and things mm. like that. So some of these things already existed. Yeah, yeah. Now what, because I'm doing a lot of stuff with, with both Elson systems and KYD now, the next question has been, well, what do we need to do? Because this was built for CDN 2016, kind of a quick. I was here. Yeah, and and, and so. Uh, no, like like here. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> Jay, absolutely. <laughs> and so the question that we're looking at now, and so probably looking at directly after CDA is, what do we need to do to actually make this an alpha? Mm. You know, so like I said, this was kind of the start of how do I look at an alpha, but it's still not an alpha gotcha. based on time. But we're most likely going to build this into an alpha because, like I said, Ellison loves what KYD is doing and everything else from there. So we'll run through three quick demos. Um, I love this first cut. This is not a typical cut that you see for demos. You know, we've all seen the, the big concerts or the big pieces there. Um, I like this Sarah Bareilles cover because it's very small. It's very intimate. So if you think about how you're kind of sitting in here, it's kind of like you're at that little concert. So we'll go ahead and run through this. By the way, my favorite thing to do in my theater is concerts. Anybody else? I mean, don't get me wrong. Movies are awesome. Let's do a concert in a good room. Oh. 